You guys voted and this is your pick for the top video of 2019. It is. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the second annual Bestie Awards for 2019. But first I wanna ask, what is the Best Ever Food Review Show? We are a hungry team of storytellers on a mission to hunt down and document the most unique food from around the world. We want to introduce you to interesting, unique food, but we also wanna show you people and cultures that maybe you haven't seen before in an effort to show that people are pretty cool. It's a good mission. I'm just kind of freestyling right now. And this is going great. The Bestie Awards are a chance for us to take a step back and look at the previous year and ask ourselves, what was the most juicy meat that we ate? What were the best balls I put in my mouth? Who was the best host, best guide? What was the best collaboration? And what was the best video of the year? And what better way to do that than with you, our besties? You guys voted, so don't blame me for the results. That's your fault. Our team selected the top five videos for 10 different categories, then opened up the voting to besties to decide who deserves the crown for that category. This year, thousands of you voted. Is that right? How many? 1,300. Yeah, like 1,300. In just a moment, I'm going to reveal all the winners. But first, let's rewind 2019. Can I be real with you guys with this hat on? 2019 was an incredible year. We grew over 2.4 million subscribers on YouTube. Can I get a slow clap? We added four new team members to the Best Ever Food Review Show team, bringing the total up to, how many do we have now? 11. 11 people, is that including me? Yeah. Including me. We moved from an old office to a new office, so now we have more space and uh, a pool. In 2019, we started making videos in 4K. That's it, that's still a pretty good one. We traveled to two new continents and 12 countries, nine of which were countries we had never been to before. We went to Madagascar, India, Oman, Kenya, Vietnam, the USA's Deep South, Indonesia and Papua, Iran, Japan, Bangladesh, Hong Kong, and we just wrapped up a trip in Cuba. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to hear the, do you have the paper? I've been given the paper. At this time, we are going to go through the 2019 Bestie nominees and winners. Are you ready? Category one, best collab. This year's nominees are Irfan of Irfan's View. Mmm, super fatty and liberating. What animal is that? Sheep. Mm. I like sheep. You like sheep? Yeah. I like sheep too. Shizuka. Everyone remembers Shizuka, right? We were in Japan. Does anybody, anybody recall? Anybody in the comments recall Shizuka? Mosin from Iran's street food tour. This is great for uh, sex, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> daddy from Village Food Factory. Why do people call you daddy? So his son, when he shoots it, he calls him daddy. Ah, oh, so now everybody calls you daddy. Yeah. And Wendy from Kenya. So it's gonna boil here for a while. Yeah. How do you know when it's done? Because it's going to rise and start like pouring all over the place, like oh, a volcano. Okay. The winner is. Is that annoying? I guess some, we could probably have someone do that sound in, in post. There it is. And the winner is, with 46.7% of your votes, Irfan of Irfan's View. I think 20% of this is just composed of ginger and garlic. I can eat this all day, man. Me too. I really I, like that. I love beef, yes. Irfan was an incredible dude to hang out with when we were in India. Super helpful. Actually, he connected us to Village Food Factory. Irfan, my dude, you deserve it. You killed it. We'll see you soon. Our second category, best local guide. The nominees are Bikruz from Uzbekistan. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Ahmed from Oman. By the way, I have some shark left. I was gonna give it to you as a gift. Long Win from Vietnam. Oh my God, look at that. He, he, he used to cut in the head and then, oh, no. Oh wait, no, no, no. Frank from Japan. The other dish that they have is the skimmin, where the noodles are separate from the broth. What? I thought that so, was illegal. I didn't think you could do that. Now it's legal. <laughs> and Joel from Madagascar. The food can be served really quick. You say like, I wanna have zibuana. Plop, your food is ready. And the winner for 2019 Best Local Guide is the Cruise. Beyond the flavor, I just, I love the texture of the meat and the noodle. Next, I think we'll be having a sheep head. But Cruz, you son of a gun, you did it. People remembered you all the way from a year ago when we posted those Uzbekistan videos. You left your mark on everybody, and especially me, and you touched me. 
I mean, you touched my heart and my team's heart. Honestly, you touched everybody on my team. Pretty inappropriate of you, so please don't do that. Category three, most unique food. And the nominees are camel in Iran. Is camel common in Iran? In desert area, the camel meat is much more uh, popular. Raw goat kidney in Kenya. This is mine. Hold on, what is going on? It's a kidney, the men are here, so let's eat. Bug pizza with the Karawai tribe in Papua. I mean, look at that, there's a giant sago worm right there in my next bite. <laughs> Puffer fish in Japan. The poison hit up my muscle quickly. and porcupine in Indonesia. The boiled porcupine. <laughs> yes. I can't mix this with rice, there's so many bones. <laughs> yeah. Now, is it okay for this hand to help this hand? Mm, or never? No. Only All right, one handed. Yes. The winner for the most unique food of 2019 with 32% of the vote is raw goat kidney in Kenya. And then we're playing a clip right now, right? You guys playing the clip? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Delicious. It's so good. <laughs> that was great. Great. How do you feel? How do you feel the test? Man, it's just very intense. Yeah. Category four: the scariest food of 2019, and the nominees are rat meat in Vietnam. Luckily, these rats are so huge, so there's a lot of meat on there. See, you don't want to have like a super bony experience, you know? Well, let's see. Isopods in Japan. This is a creature created by Satan himself. A creature man was never meant to see, let alone eat. I don't know, this should be illegal, right? Monkfish in Japan. Is this the liver? Uh, liver. The monkfish is most prized for its liver. But since we have the whole thing here, Kevin is not gonna let it go to waste. Oh. Japanese hide. Hide. Fin. <laughs> Python in the USA. Oh, jeez. What if I stepped on its head? That's cheating. Okay. And raw cow blood in Kenya. So here we go, the fresh cow blood <laughs> yeah. with some milk. All right, here we go. The winner for scariest food of 2019 is actually a surprise to me. 31% of the vote, Python in the USA. Python, Python, Python. There's, there it is. There's one, there he's is. on the move, he's on the move. Nice size. What do you I think, man? Let's grab our tail, bring, it, bring it, up? it up in front of the truck. Just gently. Oh my God, it's so heavy. As long as its head is by you and not me. Oh no, 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 no. Huge thank you to the Python Cowboy. He was an excellent guide and instructor, walking me through the paces as I caught that Python by hand. I guess that was a scary moment. The food itself wasn't scary, but when the food was trying to bite me, that was pretty intense. Next, category five, the best food reaction of 2019. The nominees are Hot Wings in New Orleans. Um, it's all spicy. The ice cream challenge in Miami. You lost the bathroom. I'm out of here. Oh! And then there were two. You're going down, bro. $100 Wagyu ramen in Tokyo. Oh my god. Mm. That was outstanding. Whoa! That's one of the best bites of my life. Drinking raw goat's blood in Kenya. Delicious. <laughs> Wow. How do you find it? <laughs> Milky. Or sago balls in Makassar, Indonesia. Mm. It's so offensive. That's their food. <laughs> the winner is, with 29% of the vote, hot wings in New Orleans. I hate myself right now. You ate half a f wing. I didn't even eat it. You spit it out? Yeah. Shame. This is a smarter one. Me. No, 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 you guys just saw a clip, right? Okay, good. That was some of the worst pain I've ever been in. I thought it was possible that I could die. I felt my throat closing up. It felt like I just ate a bunch of glass. Food challenges are not my thing. It's gross. It's not good for you. Don't do it. Next, category six, most awkward moment. And the nominees are eating sand in Iran. <laughs> We're just getting blasted with sand every 35 seconds. Tribesman attacks Sunny in Papua. Food. <laughs> Okay, it's pretending to kill me. Wah, 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 wah. We hug now? 
Oh, you know what? Sometimes we... Again. Brothers wah, fight, wah, but we wah, gotta... Wah, 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 yeah, wah, wah, wah. Oh, no, no. Are we... Okay. Sonny shoots himself in Alabama. Ah! Oh, no! Dude. Sonny falling in Vietnam. Here we go. And... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my God! No! No! <laughs> or the beach barbecue fail in Mombasa, Kenya. We've been waiting for the fire. You see how there's no one by the grill? The guy who said he was gonna help us wasn't exactly a licensed restaurateur, he's just a guy. <laughs> this wouldn't be such a big deal, except the sun is about to set behind the palm trees, and we didn't bring our flashlight. And the winner is running away with it with 38% of the vote, eating sand in Iran. We were in the city of Varzane. We were hanging out with Mohammed. Mohammed is a great dude. He's actually one of my favorite people who guided me around. He was so full of knowledge and just had a kind of a fun outlook on everything. He could be silly with me. And then we went to the desert to make this meal. I think usually they would go in the bottom of the dunes, but there was a little confusion. We ended up just going where it would be pretty. And then what resulted was a sandstorm in our food. It was a complete debacle, but I just rolled with it eventually. And uh, it ended up being pretty funny. Props to Mohammed for just laughing it off with me. It ended up being a really fun memory to look back on. Next, category seven, most mouthwatering meat. And the nominees are Kobe Wagyu in Japan. Underground goat cooking in a shua pit in Oman. Roasting an ostrich whole in Vietnam. Babi Guling in Bali, Indonesia. And Budan sausage in Louisiana. And the winner, for 2019's most mouth-watering meat is the Kobe Wagyu in Kobe, Japan, with Shizuka. Got sound effects, right? Shizuka was a great companion for trying the meat. We had a great time. If you ever have the chance to go to Kobe and eat that A5 Wagyu Japanese beef, oh man, do it. At least once in your life. Category number eight, most enlightening episode. And the nominees. Are. How India cooks 90,000 meals. So this is a second cooking room with even larger containers about twice the size. Food done, time to move it from here to here. Oh, and I like they have a special tool so you could never accidentally bump the lever. Tehran home cooked meal in Iran. You know, every year in Iran, they used to learn cooking because it's very important for women in, in Iran. This is part of our culture. What about men? What's going on? They don't do such a distinct in our culture. Hmm. Eating with the most isolated tribe in Indonesia. And then they're putting on the fern. Then they put on all the sago worms from the tree. And then all this kind of fern right here. Yes. And then more on top. So this is kind of like a giant cake or something. Giant pizza or something. OK. You're going to put all these super hot rocks on here. Now they're going to bundle all these leaves. It's like its own self-contained oven. Crawfish in the USA. And Village Zebu Feast in Madagascar. And the winner for most enlightening is, with 35% of the vote, how India cooks 90,000 meals in a day. If children are hungry, they will not be able to get the learning experience that is right. intended. Today we're gonna learn what it takes to cook at this incredible scale. Wow, that's an incredible sight to see. The best ever food review show, we try to make fun food videos, make things that are gonna be interesting and entertaining, but whenever we can, we try to slip in a little bit of uh, something more serious, something with some gravitas, that it was some depth to it, and that was certainly achieved, I think, in this video, How India Cooks 90,000 Meals. We worked with the Akshaya Patra Foundation in Bangalore. They were so kind to work with us. I mean, I was working with the guy who's basically like the vice president, and we got to see behind the scenes how they're really cooking all this food for school kids. There. It's a genius idea. It's a huge central kitchen. They can keep track of hygiene and quality all from one central location. Millions of kids have been fed and it's not only helping kids be more healthy physically, but mentally they're going to school more. They're absorbing more information. It's a good thing for everybody. At this point, we have two categories remaining, starting with number nine, best episode of 2019. Here are the nominees. Japanese street food nightmare in Japan. <laughs> 
Oh no, it's got little isopods. It's like a cross between a cockroach, lobster, and a nightmare. First, they must be dispatched, sliced down the front, expelling a toxic putrid ball of oceanic waste from their gut. It's the worst thing I've ever smelled. Street food in Tehran, Iran. Going from the dough, processing it, flattening it out, then throwing it on this pillow, sticking it on the wall, and then the master here takes it off the wall, torches it on the fire for a second. He takes a puff of his cigarette. <laughs> That's important. Rare tribal food of West Papua. Now, in this next layer is the red fruit. Wow, that is beautiful. I okay, I'm gonna do it. Ah, ah, there's no oven mitts. Shocking tribal food in Kenya. Men's and have the liver. What age do you get to start eating this? When you are uh, like uh, 28 years old. Does that mean everybody under 28 has never tasted this? Yes. They must think it's like the coolest thing ever. Yeah. Or the record-breaking bird in Vietnam. Oh. There's a little wine to make the sun shine. <laughs> The whole idea is all the wonderful drippings that come from the bird, the collagen and everything will make a beautiful aju. The top video of 2019, as voted on by you guys, is street food in Iran. I'm very proud of this video. I'm very proud that we were even able to make this Iran series happen. Does everyone hate Saturdays here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We say that Saturday is donkey. And donkey is bad. Yeah, donkey is bad in this case. But I like donkeys. You like? Yeah. Yeah, I do. We worked with a company called Harry Amir Productions. Probably from idea to landing on the ground there it took six months. We were the first YouTubers to ever go to Iran. It was really gratifying to be able to go there, to show the real Iran, show the real people there, their way of life and the food. People were super kind, welcoming, hospitable, funny, outgoing. It's a great place. I'll definitely go again. Hey, how about next year? Hmm? Kai? Go north? We can go north this time. We'll cut this out of the video. Finally, an encore, a bonus category, 2019's Best Balls. And the nominees are Camel Meat Balls in Iran, Cheese Balls in Uzbekistan, Mutton Balls in India, <laughs> Mutton. Palm Sugar Balls in Bali, Indonesia, and Sago Balls in Makassar, Indonesia. This is a topic, it's about a shape that I like my food to be in. The winner for 2019's Best Balls is, with 38% of the vote, Mutton Balls. Oh, I wish we had confetti. Can we get fake confetti? Uh, congratulations to the mutton balls, you did it. I mean, you were made out of mutton, you were in a ball shape. What more could we ask for? Guys, that is it. That is 2019, the year is over. What a year, honestly, it was a wild year. This was a year of tons of growth, hard work, trying new things, having new team members come on, going to countries and continents and, and facing new challenges that we had never faced before, going even deeper with our research, trying to find stuff that really has not been documented by other people, whether it's on news, mainstream media, or YouTube, researching and finding better guides and hosts. We worked with so many interesting people this year. I want I want to say a huge thank you to all the different uh, local fixers, guides, hosts, anybody who appeared on camera or helped us behind the camera. There's so many of you out there, I can't name them all, and so I'm just not gonna name any. But you know who you are, thank you so much. The truth is, I only do a little bit of what's involved in making this show. It's a huge team effort with everybody on my team and people in each country that help us too. So one more time, I wanna say thank you to everybody. 2020, what's in store? Yeah, I don't really know. Kind of tired lately, I haven't really planned anything. 2020 is gonna be just as wild, or maybe even 5% more wild than this year. But you know, incremental, we can't go too crazy. We're starting with a trip in January to Myanmar, going to some places never seen before, that's our thing. I wanna maybe, maybe we go to South America this year. I don't know, it's really far away. Pakistan is probably in the future. Hey, why don't you guys let me know which countries we haven't been to yet that we should go to. And if you know some unique food or custom or thing that we should cover there, let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for caring about what we're doing. I'm super proud of what we're doing. We're, we're trying to make, we're, uh, I'm running out of caffeine. No, keep going. We're trying to make videos that are interesting and entertaining, and along the way, hopefully you can learn more about some other cultures too. So that's it, that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Guys, I will see you next time. A oh, peace.